Okay, the e-brake on the Jeep's not holding, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that today. We're going to use three simple tools. That's a 13 millimeter uh, box end wrench, a flashlight, and an adjustable wrench. Let's get started. We're underneath the rear of the Jeep. We are directly above the rear drive shaft, and this is what you're looking for. Something that looks like this. We're going to hold part of it, and we're going to adjust the nut on the other part of it. Very simple process, but hey, how about I give you the Cliff Notes version? Here it is. For all of our visual learners out there, this nut here is the one you're going to be adjusting. This part here you're going to be holding with the adjustable wrench. Keep it in place so it doesn't spin. We'll slide the open-in wrench over uh, that nut there and just basically just tighten it up. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, with one hand I am using the adjustable wrench to hold the mechanism in place while I simply tighten the nut on the other side. And that's going to slowly increase the tension on the e-brake cable. And it should make it hold a lot better. Okay, I went ahead and tested it. Still needed to be tightened a little bit more, so basically I just came back, held it again, tightened it again. Very simple process. By now I think you get the basic idea. If this doesn't tighten your e-brake, you're going to have to go ahead and uh, get into the brake drums on the rear of the Jeep. But that's a video for another time, and I don't have time for that right now. The uh, video is over. You can you can go now if you want. Hey, but before you go, why don't you think about giving me a thumbs up like, or uh, maybe even subscribing to my channel? I'd certainly appreciate it.